Hi, I'm Krista Brisky richard with the Chicago Park District, and welcome to the eighth season of Night Out in the Park's cultural event series. This year's presentation of cultural experiences will undoubtedly be one to remember, but equally as exceptional as all the rest. For the first time in history of this outdoor arts and culture initiative, we're taking live performances and entertainment from our neighborhood parks into your home. Join us virtually as we travel across the city to enjoy rich cultural performances by some of our city's most talented artists. More than 40 of Chicago's very own arts partners from diverse disciplines will present works available for you and your family to watch on demand from the comfort of your own home. Thanks to Mayor Lori Lightfoot and the Department of Cultural Affairs and Special Events and our newest partner, WTTW, for their continued support. Tune in to watch WTTW's presentation of Night Out in the Parks, The Stars in Your Backyard. The series of broadcast performances will feature 17 of our Night Out performers. Connect with Chicago's rich and cultural scene through our virtual series, Your Night Out at Home. Each week we'll premiere new digital performances by local artists. From dance and jazz to theater and world music, enjoy engaging entertainment in your own backyard, balcony, or living room at www.nightoutintheparks.com. Until we meet again, stay safe, and we look forward to seeing you at the park really soon. My name is Harley, and we'll be taking a look at an online music learning resource. Now, if you've heard of the company Ableton and their software Live, they've created an amazing online resource for us. It's a, a learning website with all of the sounds and samples and everything included. Now, we'll be learning which sounds go into making beats and how to arrange them in time to make music. Let's check it out. All right, here we are. We're at the Ableton Learning Music website. Everything is included, all the sounds. It's uh, interactive. All you need to do is click or tap on the sounds to make them work and the tools. Uh, we'll be learning some uh, really, really fun stuff. And this chapter specifically is about beats, how to make them, how they're constructed, and what sounds go into uh, making them. All right, let's get started. It says, in these lessons, you'll be learning the basics of music making. No prior experience or equipment is required. Everything in here is in the browser. So it says check out the boxes below. I'm sure you've seen this already. Each one contains a small piece of music. Click a box to turn it on or off. How about we start with the first one? Nice. Does that remind you of something? Does that sound like a familiar drum beat? Pretty funky. Let's try uh, maybe this one. Two, here we go. Mmm. It's a bit more like uh, rock and roll. Let's try the next one. Oh. Oh, that's funky. Uh, here. I'm gonna add a bass. Alright. Stop them by clicking them off, right? Let's see what chord sounds like. Interesting. It's kind of like a synth sound. Another synth sound. Whoa. That's nice. 
here there's uh, four parts, four different layers to the music, the drums, bass, chords, and melodies. It's pretty good, it's fun. Very cool. So what have we learned? We've learned, you know, some of the different layers, like I mentioned, that go into making music, right? And different kind of styles, different variations of each one. At the same time, we've also learned how to mix these, kind of like a DJ would. A lot of DJs do exactly this. They take uh, different ideas of different music and blend them together. It can be pretty fun. Okay, so here we are at the beginning of the chapter. One out of ten on beats. We're going to start with make beats. Yes. This grid shows the inside of a musical pattern, a pattern of drums. You can click the grid boxes to make your own version by creating or deleting notes. That sounds fun. We should try. But let's uh, press play and see what this sounds like first. What do they got for us? All right. That's a drum beat. I wonder what this means. You think we should change the slider? Ooh. A little snappier. How about we change some of the notes? Change the pattern up a little bit. Oh, that's funky. Oh! What if we did this? Whoa! It's pretty cool, actually. So what have we learned? We've learned that there are different sounds that go into it, right? There's four different sounds out of this grid. Open hat, closed hat, clap, and kick, right? So in chapter two, we dive a little bit deeper into what are these sounds that make up a drum beat. It says, listen to this pattern. Let's try it. says, now listen to this one and notice the difference. I wonder what the difference is. They look the same. But they don't sound the same, do they? That sounds cool. Let's try the other one first. That's pretty cool. Now obviously there is a big difference, even if it's not in the visual representation, in the notes. It looks like the notes are exactly the same, right? The difference is, is that these sounds, this collection of sounds, is electronic. And this collection of sounds here, is acoustic, comes from acoustic sounds. That's an actual snare drum, an actual kick that someone recorded at some point. And now we're using little samples, little bits of that sound instead of a synthesized drum sound. Now, we can look at those individual sounds a little bit more deeply. The first one is called a kick. Here's a picture of it. This is an acoustic kick drum, right? An acoustic kick is struck by a pedal with a beater attached and is played by the drummer's foot. And it says, compare an electric and acoustic kick side by side. Let's listen. I wonder which one you like better.
That's cool. I like the difference. It says, try all the sounds together and click here to play the sounds using your keyboard keys. Ooh, I don't mind if I do. Nice. Oh, this is fun. Of course, I'm doing this on a computer, so I have a keyboard, but if you're using a tablet or an iPhone, you can just click on these with your finger, and that's pretty fun as well. Nice. That's fun, that's fun. Now let's try the acoustic sounds. Yeah. That's fun. This lesson is called backbeats, and this is an important one, because backbeats happen a lot in most music, in most beats. It says, in the empty grid below, do the following. Create the four on the floor pattern with the kick row again. Let's do that. One. There it is. There's a steady pulse. And number two says, add notes in the clap row at the positions labeled five and 13. Five and 13 for the clap. There it is. It says, this combination of the four on the floor kicks with backbeat claps or snares is commonly used in many genres, such as techno and house. Does it sound familiar to you? And again, this use of the snare or the clap on beats two and four is very, very common. It's widely used. And from here, we can start to elaborate and make different variations of our own beats. In chapter seven, Ableton kind of goes into beat examples. All right, and this might be useful for you because maybe some of the examples that you've seen have been a type of genre of music that maybe you're not particularly interested in or don't want to make that type of music at home. Okay, so on this page, uh, we talk specifically about the basic rock beat and the classic house beat. And these beats are very, very similar. Okay, they pretty much do the same thing, but where they differ are in their tempo as well as their sound the type of instruments used. Um, but typically, the basic rock beat would remind you of rock instruments, like a drum kit. And a classic house song would have more of an electronic beat to it, right? Think of the club, right? So from the top, it says beat examples. Using this simple grid, you can experiment with a huge range of classic beats in a variety of styles. And I encourage you to really go in here and, and play with the sequencer, kind of, uh, Pop in these sounds as you go. Try to maybe try to add some accent notes. As you can see, I took one of the closed hats and I popped it up here to the open hat. And I'm just experimenting. I'm just experimenting with the sound, you know, um, seeing what the drum machine can do for me, right? Also play with the tempo, okay? I encourage you to do that, all right? Maybe have a drum, have a rock beat play super, super fast. Or maybe you're thinking about writing a song where you want more sound more melancholy. You want it to be slow, right? So we'll slow it down. Okay. Give that a shot, okay? Um, play around with it a little bit, okay? But just remember that that basic rock beat is always alternating between that kick and that snare on one, two, three, four. Kicks on one and three, snares on two and four, okay? So we can go down here to the classic house beat machine and let's just go ahead and give that a listen. Okay. Now there are things about that that are extremely similar, right? There's that driving movement. And as we can see here, um, we've got the kick, but this time the kick is on all four beats. One, two, three, four. But that snare is also coming in on two and four. Okay, so there is a little bit of that alternation between the kick and the snare, but we're sort of reinforcing it here by having the clap and the kick play on the same beat, okay? We tend to call this four on the floor, okay? Kick drum is on the floor, or we feel the vibration in the floor, and as you can see, all four beats in this measure are covered by the kick. One, two, three, four. 
Interesting up here in the closed hi-hat, okay, what makes this a little bit different than the last one, that this closed hat is sort of coming on the offbeat, right? You can kind of hear it here, okay? It's playing when nothing else is really playing, okay? And that's giving it that sort of like dancey movie feeling. It's really, it's moving along in time, it's kind of, and that alternation between the kick and the hi-hat here it's doing sort of a similar thing as the kick and the snare in the basic rock beat goal, okay? And once again, you, we want to experiment here with the tempos, seeing what that does to our sound. Um, and if you get a pattern you like, you can always export it right here. Notice that the house and rock beats are extremely similar. Besides their different tempos and minor differences in the hi-hat and kick drum lines, these patterns are the same. You'll find certain drum patterns reused in many styles. We're sort of demystifying how uh, we make these magical songs. What's up, y'all? Welcome back. We hope that those uh, instructional modules uh, were useful for you, that you learned some cool things about Ableton, that you're encouraged to go deeper within the program. Can't wait to hear what all of you have been creating at home. Take care of yourself, take care of those around you, and stay creative. Thanks so much for joining us. Once again, my name is Jason Kramer. I'm your Intonation Music Instructor, and we'll see you soon.